today's lesson is 8-3 writing two-step equations. It's a lot of story problems today. So in your notebook, don't just write the work. You're probably going to need to write the story problem that goes along with it so you know how to complete the story problems in your notebook. I give you some good ideas of what story problems in my lesson go with your homework problems. So make sure you take note of that. So the first thing we need to talk about are some keywords. And we need to talk about the words that mean these um, these things. So if I look at addition, what are some things that mean addition? Some means addition. More means addition. Um, there's a whole bunch of words that mean addition. These are probably, um, another one would be increase. Okay, these are probably the most um, common ones that you'll see. Subtraction, for sure the word difference, because that's it answer to a, to a subtraction problem. Less than. And sometimes just less are words to subtraction problems. Oh, and a decrease would also be one. Okay, so division. There's not many words that mean division and multiplication. Division, quotient. Quotient is the answer to a division problem. And you could also have, like, cut in half, cut in thirds, divided by two. So you could have divided by, and then a number. So a few, just a few different things for that one. The last one we have, not many for multiplication, product. Product is the answer to a multiplication, times. And those are the ones that are used the most common for multiplication. The reason we, we made a list today is because they're going to be giving us a sentence and we have to turn it into an expression, a.k.a. a math sentence. So this is the first type of problem that you'll see. It says the sum of 4 times a number and 99 is 299. So the first thing we can do is we need to kind of start to pick through the sentence to figure out what it's talking about. And we're going to look for some keywords. Well, First of all, I see a whole bunch of keywords. I see sum, I see times, uh, is, if you can remember, is is usually an equal sign. So that's a good indicator of where your equal sign should be in the problem. So let's just start picking apart. So we have the sum of four times the number, and 99 is 299. So I'm gonna bring 299 down. Okay, so the sum of four times the number and uh, the sum of four times a number and 99. So first of all, we see two vocabulary words up here. We see sum and we see times. Now, if you could think of, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, what's the most important word? The most important word would be times because multiplication is more important than addition. So let's talk about this first, four times a number. Anytime you see a number, you can use a variable. So four times a number would look like this, four times n, four times a number, and then sum Okay, sum means addition, and 99 is 299. So this is exactly what's your, let me just rewrite this then too, so it's all in blue. And this is what your equation would look like in uh, an expression. So let me just say it again. This is the four times a number. Sum, 99 is 299. Now you most likely have to solve it after that, and let's just re-go through solving again. You're going to minus 99, you're going to minus 99, you're going to get 4n equals 200, divide by 4, divide by 4, n will be 50. Okay, let's do another one. It's 6 more than twice the number is negative 20. So let's start picking it apart. We know is is equals, and we'll do negative 20. So this is the next thing we need to start picking apart. So let's look at our vocabulary words and our keywords. So keyword would be more. Another keyword would be twice. Um, so if I say 6 more and then twice the number, what would be the most important thing in there? Twice the number would be the most important thing because it's like you're multiplying by something or doubling it. So twice the number would look like this. And I'm just going to use n for my variable. And 6 more than equals negative 20. And then you'd have to solve minus 6, minus 6. You'd have to use keep change change here. It'd be 2n equals negative 26. 
divide by 2, divide by 2, and would be negative 13. All right, let's do one more. It says the difference between 3 times a number and 11 is 10. So we know this is, is 10. That's going to be your final. But let's talk about the first part, what that's going to look like. So some definite or some uh, keywords. We have difference, 3 times a number. So the most important thing would be 3 times a number would be your 3 times n. And difference means subtraction minus 11. So the difference between 3 times a number and 11. This is what it would look like. And then you would solve like normal plus 11 plus 11. We get 3n equals 21 divided by 3 divided by 3 n equals 7. All right, so this is another type of story problem that you're going to see today. And if you can see up in top, this is like numbers 2 and 3 in your homework. So we can, you can kind of um, use this when you start doing your homework to look back to see some problems that are like them. So Zach has six shirts. This is four less. That should be than twice the number of shirts that Xavier has. And we probably want to figure out how many Xavier has. So first of all, if he has six shirts total, most likely that's going to be equal six. And it says, and then this is what we did before. This is four less than twice the number of shirts that Xavier has. And so what they mean here is that that's just the variable we're going to use for the number of shirts that Xavier has. So we're going to use yeah, n. So let's go back. Let's find some keywords. We know for less, we know twice the number. Most likely that's multiplying. So twice the number would be 2n and for less. And this is what your equation would look like. And then you could go ahead and solve it. Plus 4 plus 4 would be 2n equals 10 divided by 2 divided by 2. n would be 5. Okay, all right, let's do another one. This is another one like two and three in the book. So Hannah has 24 stickers. This is six less than twice the number of stickers Molly has. So we know all together there's 24 total. Okay, so here's our part here. We don't know how many Molly has, we can use for X. So six less than twice the number of stickers Molly has. Let's look for our keywords. We know it's less and twice the number. So we're going to twice the number first, twice the number, and then six less than. And this is what your equation would look like. And then if you need to solve it, make sure you solve it. Okay, this is an example of like numbers four and five in your homework that you will have today. So this says you and your friend spend a total of $21 on lunch. You spend $3 more than your friend. How much did you spend for lunch? So if you can think back to when we did story problems, we kind of set up a table a little bit. Okay, so let's do you and your friend. So you and your friend spend a total, and you spend a total of $21. Okay, you spend $3 more than your friend. So let's talk about your friend. Do you know how much your friend spent? We do not. We don't know how much your friend spent. We have, but we have some more information about you. You spend three dollars more than your friend. Well, in your box, it's not going to look like this. So many people would make that mistake. You are going to spend what your friend did, but three dollars more than him. So you have to be careful with you. You spend what your friend did, but three dollars more. Then you're going to combine everything you have here. Okay, put ones there, so I know it's going to be 2x plus 3 equals 21. And that's what your, um, that is what your equation would look like. Um, and then if it asks you to solve it, you need to solve. So the, this is another one like numbers 4 and 5 in your homework. Juan's father was 29 years old when Juan was born. This year, the sum of their ages is 53. Find their ages. Okay, so we're going to do Juan and Juan's father. Okay, so we know that Juan, we don't know much about Juan, but we know about his father. So if we don't know anything about Juan, we're going to make his age this. 
but we know that Juan's dad is always going to be 29 years older than Juan. So instead of putting 29 down here, no, nope, it's not right. We have to include Juan's age plus 29. Okay. And then we know together they're going to equal 53 this year. So now we're going to combine what we can combine. So I have two X's here plus 29 equals 53. So I'm going to minus 29 from both sides, minus 29 from both sides. And I get 24 equals 2x. So divide by 2, divide by 2. I know x is 12. But then it asks us a question. It says, well, how old is everybody? So we know if x is 12, we can go back to our table and say, okay, I know Juan is 12 years old. But Juan's dad, we actually have to do the math now. And Juan's dad is going to be 41. And if you would add these two things together, it would equal 53. Okay. Oops, I'm going to go back to this one. Okay. This one is like number six in your homework. So here's an example of one like number six. It says, Logan collected pledges for the charity walkathon. He will receive $65.50 plus $21.75 for each mile. How many miles will he need to walk to raise $370? So let's just start picking apart what we know. We know he wants to raise a total of $370. We know he already made some money. He already made this. Um, so that's going to be in our equation somewhere. But we know that this is also going to be in our equation somewhere. He's going to make $21.75 for every mile. The thing is, we don't know how many miles he's going to need to go. So that's the question. So we would take $21.75 times X, because if he gets $21 for each mile, and we don't know how many miles, we'd take $21.75 times how many miles. And then he already received that $65.50. And solving this equation would tell you how many miles he needed to walk to raise his total of $370. And then you could go ahead and start to, to solve it. Minus your 6550 from both sides and divide by 2175. And if you complete this correctly, your X should be 14. That means he needs to walk 14 total miles to make his $370. Okay. That's all for story. So it's all story problems today. If you need me to go over some of these again, make sure you mark them in your notebook, especially if you have questions. Um, thank you for watching my video, and I will see you next class period.